Hey guys, it's Bro Uwak, and today we're doing another video where we take a hero in Overwatch and just talk about the possible buffs of that hero and just to make them a little bit better or even talk about a nerf and make them a little bit worse. Now, I guess you could call this like a, a sub-series because I've done this before with Reinhardt, with Widowmaker, and I've even looked at Mercy and talked about how we should give her a nerf. So, the reason why I like making these types of videos is because one, it just, my main purpose is to make the heroes just a little bit more viable, a little bit more better, even though I talked about Mercy and possibly nerf her because I feel like every single hero is special in their own certain way just not entirely viable or at least have a purpose in the current I don't want to say meta but just even in the current game and I feel like Orisa is kind of in that boat because I feel like other heroes just kind of does what she does better you know when it comes to the shield well Reinhardt's shield is twice as better when it comes to damage output well Soldier and Pharah, McCree, so many other DPS heroes can output a lot more damage a lot more consistently. Orisa is kind of in a weird spot where she's a great hero hero because well she has all those different aspects of heroes you know she's kind of like the jack of all trades however her trades aren't that valuable but do I think that she's a terrible hero by all means I don't honestly I feel like she's a very special hero with a lot of potential and just a little bit of tweaking I honestly feel like she could be a lot more viable in many different situations now I do realize that Blizzard is coming out with some sort of buff for Orisa but right now currently we don't know what these buffs are so that's why I'm making this video because well I want to get you guys ideas and list my ideas and hopefully those ideas ideas can be implemented for Orisa just to make her a little bit more viable. And also when I make these videos, every single time I list an idea, it's not like I want every single idea, I just want one or two of these buffs to be added to Orisa, not all three, four, or five of them, because at that point, it would just make the hero very broken and just very overpowered. But let's just list some of these ideas and let me just know your guys' thoughts. So when looking at Orisa, you guys have to realize that she's one of the only anchor tanks in the game right next to Reinhardt. You know, those are the two anchor tanks that can really stand their ground, protect their team, but also still deal out a hefty amount of damage. But what's so great about Orisa is that she can be at range when dealing that damage, whereas with Reinhardt, you have to be in tickle distance, you have to smell their breath, you have to just realize what kind of shampoo they use, you know, that kind of ordeal. So that's what's so great about Orisa. But the thing is, I feel like that she still doesn't have enough sustainability. Yes, she has 200, 200 HP and 200 armor. Yes, she does have a shield and her fortify ability, but still, that doesn't fully protect her, and that's my biggest problem, that if you get caught with your pants down with Orisa, you know, you're done though you're gonna die you know you're just feeding ultimate charge at that point but I do realize that she's an anchor tank she's not gonna be flying all around and whatnot but I feel like just changing that sustainability problem can make her a lot more better so the first change that I want to give to Orisa which some of you guys might think this is overpowered some of you guys might think this is really dumb but every time that you use your fortify ability I want her to be invincible because every time that you use it right now you still have a chance to die yes you do receive less damage but if you're being focused and you and you get caught with your pants down which is pretty often if you get surrounded you're gonna die and you're gonna be feeding the enemy ultimate charge but not even that you guys also have to realize the other abilities in the game that makes heroes invincible a big one is gonna be reaper and his waveform because every time that he pops it which is often he's invisible he can't be hurt he can't be touched because he's a edgy 13 year old but getting back to this topic he, he can't be hurt another ability somewhat is gonna be Zarya's bubble yes you can't still break it but she's kind of invincible at that point unless you try to break the bubble but again she's invincible right there another one kind of is going to be tracer and his and her rewind ability may and her ice block ability so there's a lot of abilities in the game that makes the heroes kind of invincible that can't be touched why can't Arissa, someone that has a fortify ability that has potential to where she can block all this damage doesn't have that ability you know so just adding that single little buff right there i feel that would just one give her sustainability if you don't have a great healer in your team but two get you out of a situation where you're getting surrounded and you need to just kind of reposition yourself right because again Orisa is an anchor tank but that doesn't mean that when she stands her ground if she somewhat gets caught she can't reposition so I think that's the biggest problem with Orisa whereas if you give her this ability it would just make her a whole lot more viable which is what I'm going for I'm not trying to make her overpowered I don't know if you use your fortify ability you can get rid of your actual gun you know you know where you can't fire maybe that could be a double-edged sword change but either way that's the biggest thing I want for Orisa, but there are some other changes that I do want for her if this one can't go through. So this buff is similar to D.Va's buff, whereas when she was walking she would fire very, very slow, and then a buff came out that she would actually be able to walk a little bit faster, not totally fast like she's Speedy Gonzalez, no, but she was still able to be somewhat mobile while firing. That's the kind of buff that I want for Orisa because it's not really game changing, right? It's not oh my god, is the best hero in the game, no, but it's that little change that just makes her hero which is someone that can pump out a lot of damage because, well, she has one of the biggest clips 
in the game when it comes to her ammo. 150 ammo that she's going to be continuously firing, and that's what you want to do with Orisa. But let me ask you this. How many times have you, been, have you been caught with your pants down while firing? And it's not really your fault because, well, you're an anchor tank. Again, this isn't going to be making her Speedy Gonzalez, but it's that little change that makes her hero, which is, well, pumping out all this damage. A little bit more mobile, but not to the point where she's flying all over the map and still being able to pump out damage. One last thing that I also wanted to change about her is her halt ability. Now, her halt ability is one of the best things in the game, and it's one of the most satisfying things when you're on Lee Tower, when you're on Elios, when you're on the well, whatever. You know, pulling someone into the edge, getting environmental kills is so good. But the thing is, the halt ability can move so slow unless you're in the enemy's face. But the thing is, people recognize like, hey, we're on the edge, Orisa is coming towards us, let's not go to the edge so Orisa can pull us off. So, at least this way, if you're farther away, you're still able to use your halt ability, but I want it to go faster. That's what I want for this buff. I want the hold ability to go a little bit faster because if you look at the other kind of boop abilities, mainly uh, mainly Farah and Lucio, those are kind of instantaneous. When you use your boop ability for Lucio, you know, you're able to boop them off right there. Farah's boop ability, while it isn't instantaneous like Lucio's, it's pretty close to her. When you see the concussion blast, you don't have a lot of time to determine, oh my god, whoa, oh, whoa, I already fell off the map and now I'm crying. You know, that type of thing. When you see the green ball of death, you're just thinking to yourself, okay, let me just move to the left real quick, whereas you have a little bit more respect to Orisa at range so that you don't fall off the edge because you know that green ball, that faster green ball is coming. It's one of those things that it's not too game changing, but you have a lot more respect for Orisa and you have a lot more respect for her placement. And those were just a few buffs just to give to Orisa to make her a lot more viable. And I feel like people, when they see these videos, they think I want to make them overpowered. No, I just want to change little minor things just to have them have a niche in Overwatch. If we look at Winston, his little bubble buff threw him into the meta. He's one of the best tanks in the game, but that was a little minute change, and that's what I want for these heroes, especially with Orisa. But I do want to get your guys' thoughts. So I love you guys. I thank you guys for watching more Overwatch videos to come, and bye.